So, what's up? What's up? Y'all, we need to talk once again about this confused, self absorbent. It's like, I think I get more satisfaction like looking at them. <laughs> Maybe opening a few just to see that they know I opened it and I respond. <laughs> All about me. Looking for a simp, somebody to bow down. Now, have we ever heard of the willy theory? Whether it really existed or not. I'll let you decide that. But it was said along that letter that men and women would be put against each other. Women would be thinking that they're better than the men. The men would be thinking that they're better than the men. Now, maybe I didn't have a visual to put to it at the time, but dealing with this Chantel Jackson, it's done got real serious when she did this interview with this very obnoxious interviewer. I mean, check this out where she went about what makes her feel good when a man is in her DMs and she don't respond. How that just lifts her up. How it just makes her her day. No, it's not verbatim, but it just shows you how confused the mind is for some women. Take a listen. Mm. DMs are a little lit, just a little bit, yeah. but it's like, I think I get more satisfaction like looking at them, <laughs> maybe opening a few stuff. just to see that they know I opened it and I respond. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm done. Oh, clap it up, clap it up. I love it, but um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't want to say I don't have time. I just see what my drive and persistence and my focus is getting me right now. I hear and you. I'm like, this bag is what I'm getting to. Right. Now, this is just my opinion. All things alleged, just my opinion, commentary. That's it. But if I was to meet a so-called person, human, and, and I'm gonna put it like that because nowadays you don't know if you're dealing with AI intelligence, a robot, a person who actually has real feelings like empathy, or a person who is healthy to be around, to want to be a true person. And they're not basing it upon their looks like I can get in the door to have this. I can date anybody I want to date in the process. If I see that person being happy and I don't like that, then I will take it upon myself to try to take that person's man. It seems like this is the type of person or a person that you could just meet in general. There are signs there. Like, what is so satisfying about, let's put, let's put the scenario like this, giving your number to someone, male or female, we, we just talking as folk, as people, giving your number to somebody and letting them know your social media handles or how to contact you. They contact you. Sometimes the feeling is it could be, dang. Why did I give them my information knowing I don't want to talk to them? But I'm going to go ahead and pick up anyway. Okay, fine. Now that can lead into something that you may not have wanted to get into. Or maybe it could lead into something positive. But to blatantly know that you know that you know in your mind. In your heart. That you absolutely are not attracted to this person. Don't think any attraction could, could bloom from this. The conversation is not there. The, it's just not there for what it is. You're not clicking. You have nothing to talk about, nothing in common. Um, maybe you knew of something, uh, maybe you knew of something like about them. You know how 
word do travel, whatever industry, whatever community, whether it's true, whether it's not, but you just wasn't feeling it and don't want to take it there. But you already know that you don't want to be bothered, but it makes you feel good that somebody is in your DMs, private messaging you, calling you, sending you a text. It makes you feel good just to say, oh, I got their attention. Oh, he or she caught again? Dang, what a simp. Maybe I could take advantage of this person and get what I want. Like, I'm, I'm loving this. I'm just like graveling, dialing my number, graveling, begging for my attention, hitting me up for the DM. I'm just getting a thrill out of just looking. And then if I open it, then they're going to know I open it and at least feel like, oh, oh, she opened it. This is a really sad situation of the mind, a sad situation of confusion to still play such games. Now, if she still does, I don't know if the person in general still plays such games because, you know, now we're just talking in general. At this point, it's not even all about Chantel. I mean, why spend so much time? talk on her when we already know what she's given. This is exactly why we cannot take advice from the Maury girl, you know, the Corey Hardrick situation. Can't take advice from her. Can't take advice from Jenny Mai. Can't take advice from the ones before. You definitely, I would not suggest to take advice from this one here. Because then she likes to go on to say, well, what is it all about then, Chantel? What are you really into, Chantel, if uh, sugar daddy can't even, like, take you out? And to tell you the truth, these sugar daddies, let me tell you, whoever wants to spend is going to spend. It ain't even got to be a sugar daddy. We're just going to keep it strictly talk, talking about men at this point. Men, okay, because to tell you the truth, these sugar daddies done got younger, and I don't even know if the word even still exists. Because if a man wants to spin, he's going to spin. And nowadays, these men done wising up, they ain't trying to go broke to be trying to take some woman out, and they already see the signs like, yeah, she's just trying to get a free meal. Because you know what, women, guess what? We want to eat that bad, we can afford our own meal. We ain't got to take it upon ourselves to just use somebody. It's not right. It's not even comfortable going to bed at night to lay, to rest your head, knowing that you done took advantage of somebody. Don't you know we have cousins? We have sons. We have daughters. We have aunties. We have family members, y'all. We got good friends. And when them stories are flipped and they get personal about somebody getting taken advantage of, because some stuff does get passed down. It's like, okay, look, well, you done did it to this person. And now you're having to hear your son, your daughter, a close family member, a little cousin, a big cousin. Because at this, at this point, we can't even put age or gender on this because this can happen to anybody to feel like oh it makes me feel good don't you know when it's a situation like that when you're trying to put yourself above others esteem yourself more higher than you really should because we are going to the bathroom we all are putting our pants on we all are putting our shirt on we all are doing things in the realm of human nature. There is not one bigger than the other. It's no big eyes and little U's. But for somebody to really just put it out there, how they feel about themselves. Do they really feel that good about themselves? Or is that a form of low self-esteem? I've heard that time and time again. When a person has to take the time out to make someone feel less than, 
to put somebody else down, to be judgmental, to talk about them, to deliberately not be available, to deliberately not be a friend, to deliberately send you straight to voicemail, to deliberately say, we're going to go to lunch. Yeah, to deliberately say, contact me like this and then ghost the person. Oh, and don't let somebody say, like actually pick up the phone, follow through with the connect as far as linking up and then them not showing up. Like it's a game to them or something. But then, you know, she's so quick to say, to get back to her business, go ahead, promote your business, promote your business. Let's listen to that again about promoting this business and what you ain't got time for and what your focus is. Because at this point, I think she just be talking. I, I think them DMs is honestly dry. But you know, I, I don't know her like that. But I, I'm just saying, somebody got to sit up here and say, yeah, they be lady, lady. They be lady, lady. They ain't that lit. Whoever it is just ain't hollering at you who you want to be interested in you. Or maybe you don't put yourself out there and you just didn't get a response from the person that you want to be in the DMs. Because any other time you throwing it all out there and then some. Throwing it all out. Like you, 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 gotta, you gotta touch yourself right here. Just, just throwing it out there. Shaking the look tishy tish from behind trying to get whoever eyes on it. I, I guess somebody looking. Who? I, look, I guess they ain't came forth yet. Or again, you ain't feeling them because you so focused. Let's listen about this focus. To see what my drive and persistence and my focus is getting me right now. I hear and you. I'm like, this bag is what I'm getting to. Right. And that's what I need. And is that shoe gummy? Is that the bag? Or is it a bunch of other other shoe gummy is the bag? My own branding is right. the bag. Um And I'm gonna tell y'all another thing. This is another this is another scenario sometimes when women can get a little thrown off. It's like a woman be having a, a come together meeting of some sort and will say yeah, I'm just really focused on my business right now and just trying to make that work. Like, that is my boyfriend. That is who I'm married to. And th like, that's all I have time for. And that's it. I'm just trying to make this work. Keep on trying to make it work. Past the 30s, past the 40s, past the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Keep on trying to make it work. And letting that be your focus. It is not a nice world out here. And sometimes you do need backing. Sometimes you do need companionship. Sometimes that real nicer, nicer side has to really come out. To be a real person. And to not shun people. Do know that the door swings both ways. You know, we say, oh, you know, a man is supposed to chase you. He only going to do it for so long. You have to give a man signs of wanting to be in contact. But for her to just like blatantly go on this interview, this, this obnoxious interview, it was. It just, just, I don't know. I could only handle so much. But to just blatantly say she likes looking at these DMs. Interesting. Interesting take on that. I mean, I'm sure other women think like that. I'm sure, you know, some men think like that too. That's why it's like nowadays, ain't nobody trying to bend over backwards for nobody. People take advantage of people's emotions. That's why people don't want to be so available anymore either they want to take their time getting to know people because you really don't know what people's intentions are but she honestly comes off as the type like my looks done brought me this far I had the top athlete top paid athlete Floyd Mayweather money 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 Floyd money Mayweather and I don't know if it's true or not, but it was said the way she came into that relationship is the way she left.
So, yeah, I can understand, you know, women trying to focus on their brand or getting their bag, as, as she said at that time. But it was so funny because did you catch how the interviewer said, now, is it just the, the shoe, whatever, whatever? Is that like you getting your bag or is it basically you got anything else going on? She said her brand. Yeah, I guess it just takes up so much of her time that she just didn't have time for that relationship. <laughs> Hats off. We salute you for that. Once again, all the best. Because I have to end this on a high note. All the best to Ashanti and Nelly. Again, 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 again. On a high note. Because that conversation there, who walk on, just, just walk on by. Just, we just don't let it walk on by. Bye. Bye. Ashanti and Nelly. What's up? What's up? What's up?